Moving on to the Lifetime Achievement Award of the Year. Unanimous as far as the jury is concerned for this particular award. Let's find out who that goes to. It was indeed a privilege to uh, give this award, to be, to be chairing uh, the jury for this award. Uh, what we not only looked at the body of work that the person has done over the, over the last few years, few decades, we also looked at some important factors like what has been the contribution of this person to the industry. What are the kind of institutional legacy that the person has left behind which will endure for many more years after this? And also we also more importantly looked at, uh, at the kind of, you know, whether the person embodies the values, the true values of what public relations is all about. And I'm actually happy that to actually announce Rajesh Chaturvedi for the Lifetime uh, Achievement Award of the Year. I think he truly embodies all of it. Rajesh, congratulations. Rajesh Chaturvedi at Factors PR Lifetime Achievement Award. IPR CCA acknowledges the immense contribution of Mr. Rajesh Chaturvedi to the PR fraternity. Of you who know, I am not Rajesh Chaturvedi. <laughs> he is gone for a first ever holiday for 17 days to New Zealand, and therefore I have to do the task of reading out a brief statement on his behalf. So he says, Thank you, Anurag Ji, the Exchange for Media Group, and the jury members of IPRCCA for this kind consideration. I am truly humbled by this offer as it's an appreciation from a jury of my peers. In a lighter vein though, while the phrase lifetime achievement is deeply gratifying, it also has a worrying pre-obituary tone to it as it means I am no means ready to retire. Especially as I feel that the Indian PR industry is truly at an inflection point and will grow exponentially in the months and years ahead. More importantly, we in the industry as a whole are doing some truly inspiring and innovative work which compares with the best of the best globally. I am happy to see that PR has now emerged as a mainstream career choice for the best and the brightest and working with these young fertile minds keeps us on our toes, exciting me no end about what lies ahead. However, in today's digital volatile uncertain world where chaos is the new normal I am afraid that we might be losing out on an essential ingredient of public relations, namely relationships. I have always believed, firmly believed that relationships are at the very core of everything we practice as PR professionals, be it public relations, media relations, employee relations, government relations, shareholder relations, community relations, everything has a relationship aspect to it. All key constructs of our profession and all of which rely deeply on relationships. In fact, I would not be amiss if I state that the little success I have had in my professional journey has been built on relationships nurtured over the years. Further, public relations is all about creating acceptance and understanding for your point of view. However, understanding can only happen in a specific relation dynamic if there is humility, mutual respect, and empathy towards the other person. We simply need to be accepting of all points of view. I suppose what I'm trying to say is you have to understand to be understood. This is a philosophy we live by at AdFactors PR where we are less of a company and more of a collective of friends, peers, mentors and colleagues. What I have achieved would not have been possible without the love of everybody in the AdFactors family, most notably without the trust, understanding and support of my friend, philosopher and conscience keeper, Madan Behal. Lastly, and most importantly, a huge thank you to my wife, Renu, and my daughter, Neha, for their unstinting support and patience. Thank you all.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Very well deserved indeed.